What's up everybody, Prefix Wiz coming at you with another Unity tutorial. So today we're gonna to talk about how to run something in your app one time, and I really mean just one time. This could be useful for patch notes, um, if you release a patch and then uh, you wanna make sure that the user sees at least that there was something that happened, um, you can pop it up and then they can cancel it or use it or read it or whatever they do with it, whatever you want them to do with it, and then at the end of which it'll never pop up again Ever. So how to run something one time? It's pretty simple. That starts right now. Double digit thousand. How to run something one time. Let's go ahead and open up Unity. All right, so the first thing you notice here is I just created a canvas. And inside this canvas, I have a background. And inside this background, I'll, I have a box with a you know simple text in there. This is your first time using this game or app, giving you that information. And, there, and a button for the user to click. And let's go ahead and set that up real quick. Um, in the button, we're just going to do an on-click event. When I click this button, we're going to close this box. So let's go up here to game. We're going to do a bool. And we're going to turn it off. Let's go ahead and create a script. C sharp and let's just name it run one time and let's open it up. If you're not using player prefs X in your project, then you can't really save a boolean. In this case, we're going to use one and zero as our bool. Zero meaning true and one meaning false or vice versa, however you want to do it. But in this case, it's going to be zero means true and one means false. And we'll just uh, create an integer and we'll call it, is this your first time? So in the awake function is where we're going to run it in this scenario. However, in your scenario, you could run it at any time. But in this case, we're just going to run it as soon as the program wakes up. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do inside the awake function, we're going to get the value of that Boolean question. And the way we're going to get that is playerprefs.getInt. And then we're just going to write a simple if statement. Okay. And we're just going to ask the question, if, is this your first time is true, then we're going to do whatever you want to show the user. But the important thing is that we now know that after we've done all of this, it will never be their first time again. The first thing we want to do is set, is this your first time value to one? That way it makes it false. It is no longer our first time. So every time that we start this program from now on, it is not our first time anymore. But we won't know that because when we pull this up, it's not going to give us this information because we haven't set any value to the save key yet. So immediately after setting the value to one, making it false, it is no longer our first time, we now saved that value in this key. So when the program runs again, it's going to grab that key, which is this value, and then set it to one. This whole if statement won't fire. So now that it's not true anymore, we want to make sure that that else statement is in there. So else, it's not true. We just want to make sure that this window isn't displayed. So we're just going to say this dot game object dot set active is going to be false. So we will never see that window again. Let's save that. Let's go back into Unity. And then on our window, the window that we want to display, we're just going to drag that script right on there. This will be the very first time we ever hit play. So it's going to have a value of zero. The window pops up and this is your first time using the game app or whatever. Okay, window closes because we set that up earlier. And now let's turn it back off. So if we hit play, the window goes away. All right, and that concludes how to run something one time. So it's super simple and there's uh, of course a lot of ways to do it. Uh, this is programming, so there's more than one way to get something done. This seems to be the easiest way for me. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, and in either case, subscribe.